the global defense community was stunned South Korea's KF-21 achieves full combat capability ahead of schedule. Digital headlines flashed in Seoul, Washington, and Manila. Boramai Block 2 cleared for early export. Years of skepticism surrounded South Korea's ambitious fighter jet project. Building a 4.5 generation fighter from scratch is a monumental feat, demanding resources, technology, and political will. Tonight, that ambition is reality. The KF-21 Baramai, Young Hawk, is now a proven platform, with its advanced Block 2 variant fast-tracked for production. This sends ripples across the Indo-Pacific. Nations seeking to modernize their air forces now have a powerful new option. The Baramai isn't just another jet. It's a symbol of South Korea's technological leap. Its rapid development has outpaced expectations, challenging the dominance of American and European manufacturers. For countries needing a capable, affordable multi-role fighter, the Boramai is a compelling choice. Advanced systems, once exclusive to top-tier jets, are now available sooner than anyone predicted. The early export announcement is a game-changer for nations with tight budgets and urgent security needs. Enter the Philippines, a nation with vast coastlines and a complex neighborhood. The Philippine Air Force has long sought a modern fighter to patrol its skies and defend its territory. The sudden availability of the KF-21 Block II aligns perfectly with these needs. It's a new door opening, offering advanced capability sooner than expected. Will the Philippines seize this historic opportunity? The KF-21 Boramai's development has defied expectations. Fighter jet programs are notorious for delays, but Korea Aerospace Industries pushed forward at breakneck speed. The first prototype flew in July 2022. Since then, test aircraft have completed thousands of sorties. South Korea leveraged its T-50 Golden Eagle experience using digital design and manufacturing to accelerate progress. Virtual prototypes reduced errors and sped up construction. Strong government support and a clear vision made the KF-21 a national priority. Despite financial hurdles with Indonesia, the partnership brought resources and momentum. Successful weapons tests, like firing Meteor and Iris T missiles, proved the Baramai's combat readiness. Integration of AESA, radar, and European missiles built international confidence. Each milestone made the Boramai a true multi role fighter, ready for modern aerial combat. The world is watching as South Korea's jet sets a new standard for rapid, reliable development. The Boramai is no longer a promise, it's a proven reality. The KF-21 program began with a phased approach, Block Y for air-to-air, -air, Block 2 for full multi-role capability, but shifting security dynamics forced South Korea to accelerate Block 2's development. Block 2 isn't just an upgrade, it unlocks the jet's full strike potential, with internal weapons bays and enhanced stealth. It can carry long-range domestically developed cruise missiles, striking deep into enemy territory. Fast-tracking Block 2 is also about economics. Global buyers want versatile, future-proof fighters now. By offering Block 2 early, KAI competes directly with the latest American and European jets. This bold move compresses years of R&D, but KAI's confidence is high. The jet's core systems were designed with Block 2 in mind, smoothing the transition. The result, a more advanced export-ready fighter, sooner than anyone expected. South Korea's gamble is paying off, and the world's air forces are taking notice. The Boramai is ready to redefine the market. The timeline has shifted dramatically. KAI now promises the KF-21 Block II will be export-ready by 2026. This leap forward puts a cutting-edge fighter on the table for countries making procurement decisions today. The 2026 target is grounded in proven flight tests and mature core systems. With production lines ramping up for Korea's own orders, KAI can build for export partners in parallel. For the Philippines, this timing is critical. Their multi-role fighter project needs a centerpiece soon. The Burmai Block II fits perfectly within the Philippine Air Force's desired delivery window. It's no longer a future possibility, but a concrete option for immediate plans. This acceleration challenges competitors, like Sweden's Saab Gripen, who now face a formidable rival. The KF-21 is no longer the underdog, it's a front-runner. Offering near-fifth-generation tech, ready in just two years, is a rare advantage in this price bracket. 
The race for the Philippines' next fighter just got a lot more interesting. The world is watching who will move first. The Philippine Air Force has faced decades of limited air combat capability. The retirement of its F-5 Tigers left the nation without supersonic fighters for years, a dangerous gap for a country with vast, vulnerable coastlines. The arrival of the F-A-50PH, also from KAI, marked a turning point, restoring supersonic flight and training capacity. But the F-A-50PH was always a stepping stone. The real goal is a true multi-role fighter. The PAF needs a jet for air superiority, maritime strike, and precision ground attack, reliable, versatile, and affordable. The KF-21 Boromai fits this vision, and the existing relationship with KAI means a smoother transition. Pilots and crews already know KAI's systems, making integration faster and more efficient. The Boromai isn't just a new jet, it's the logical next step for the Philippines' air defense. The Philippine Air Force's fighter contest is down to two South Korea's KF-21 Baramai and Sweden's Saab Gripen CD. The Gripen is proven, efficient, and has long been the front-runner, but the KF-21 Block II's accelerated timeline changes the game. The Boramai is a larger, twin-engine jet, offering greater range, payload, and safety for long maritime patrols. Its advanced ASA radar and stealth features push it closer to fifth-generation capability. While the Gripen is famous for low operating costs, South Korea is likely to offer a highly competitive package, training, support, maybe even technology transfer. The Boramai's modern design and future growth potential make it a compelling future-proof choice. For the Philippines, the decision is no longer obvious. The KF-21 is now a serious contender for the skies. The KF-21 Boramai offers practical advantages for the Philippines. Its commonality with the FA-50PH fleet means easier pilot transition, streamlined maintenance, and cost savings. South Korea aims to keep the Boramai affordable, cheaper than American jets, but with a near fifth-generation performance. The Block II's range and payload are ideal for maritime patrols over the West Philippine Sea. Twin engines offer safety for long, overwater flights. Advanced radar and sensors give the PAF unprecedented situational awareness. Stealth features provide a crucial edge in contested environments. South Korea's support package could include training, spare parts, and even local industry cooperation. The Baramai isn't just a fighter, it's a partnership and a leap forward for Philippine defense. For Manila, it's a chance to modernize quickly and cost-effectively. The KF-21 deal is more than an arms sale, it's a strategic partnership. South Korea and the Philippines share values and security interests in a volatile region. A Boramai deal would symbolize this alliance, deepening defense ties and interoperability. For South Korea, the Philippines as the first export customer is a major milestone, validating years of investment and boosting global credibility. For the Philippines, it means a reliable ally and a modern air force. Joint training, shared tactics, and coordinated operations become possible. The presence of KF-21s in the Philippines sends a strong deterrent message to potential aggressors. Together, Seoul and Manila strengthen the Indo-Pacific security architecture. Picture late 2026 at Palawan's Antonio Bautista Air Base, sleek KF-21 Boramais, now the guardians of Philippine skies. Pilots step out of cockpits, confident in technology far beyond anything the PAF has flown before. On patrol over the West Philippine Sea, their ASA radars scan vast distances, sharing real-time data with command centers. For the first time, the Philippines has perceived consistent situational awareness over its maritime domain. Illegal fishing and aggressive foreign vessels now face a vigilant, capable air force. The Boramai's presence is a shield, protecting resources, upholding sovereignty, and deterring threats. Long-range missiles ensure sea lanes remain open and secure. This isn't a distant dream. The KF-21 Block II's rapid development has made it possible. The decision for Manila is clear. Take an incremental step or leap into the next generation of air power. The world is watching as the Philippines stands at the threshold of a new era.